third game of the day. This is the lower bracket semi-final in Group A. And I didn't expect this, but we got a lower bracket, including Lin. And he's facing 4-2. Still playing for the LP club. Here's the bracket, foggy and colorful in the winner bracket final. I hope we will see them later. It's not 100% sure yet, to be honest, but should be the case that the winner bracket final comes after this one. And colorful is playing night elf again. Okay. Well, Lin was suffering at the hands of colorful before. And Fortitude is playing more and more Night Elf. We saw that at Dreamhack already. He laddered as well. With Night Elf. And maybe he's just frustrated by Farseer Headhunters. Okay, question, how can you move your Acolytes wrong? Well, uh, prior to my coaching, I control clicked the acolytes, sent them to the mine, then clicked on the ghoul and sent them to lumber. So now you box select them, right click the gold mine, and then F click or resource gather click the ghoul to lumber. That saves you quite a bit of time. So that's, that's what I kind of want to do on, on the stream. Thank you, Mr. Observer Man, for the interesting progress of building a Moonwell. Wonderful. Claws of Attack for the Keeper already. Not bad. We're kicking things off on Tight Hunters with 40 betraying the human attack. race. A town is under it is a beautiful Moonwell site. That is 100% correct. And if one recognizes beauty, then it's you. He clicked the portrait. <laughs> Ortega, you're right, you're right. Does he remember? Uh, we'll see. Okay, Fortitude, I wonder how much you learned in the meantime. The At DreamHack, I gotta say his Night Elf didn't look too good. And Lin is already having a good early game, I think. No level two for this Keeper of the Grove. I don't know. And he's creating so much space already. Uh, I guess it's Treants, right? Do we see Treants already? Needs to creep a little more. But where? Blade Master's hanging around. It has a lot of Players mana. Forces are under attack. Must feel good for Lin <laughs> to have uh, a better early game here. Okay, this is level two finally. Took quite some time, man. Took quite some time. For Lin, it's just smooth sailing. There's no pressure. He knows what's up. His units are not in Players danger. He's already at back. tier 2. Oh, a little late. But this one he got, all right? No! Oh, Lin! Little bit of a blunder. Look at this. Zero experience. And uh, now he's getting caught. Now he's getting entangled and focused. And he has no heal selves. Hmm, not a perfect play. This is usually a double kill for Lin. The guy with one of the best Blade Master controls that this game has ever seen. It's a tiny thing. It's Please little experience. It's not like an Ogre Lord on CH or something. But it's about preventing level 3 and every experience matters. It's not the end of the world, obviously, but after a series like the one Lin had against Colorful just now, He would love to get a little bit momentum back.
And colorful, yeah, with that, creeping up to level three. Good reveal. And another forced into a staff. That hurts. 68. As we got another sub here. Thank you very much. Crackle fat. Thanks for giving me your prime. Much love. Oh man, this blade master. Heal wave second. More pressure. Doesn't want to walk into these serpent wards, of course. But he prevents level 3. Alchemist is coming in as well. Um, all of a sudden, this doesn't look too good for Lin anymore. Fortitude is playing the smart, buying time for the expo. Blademaster is moving intelligently, of course, but I think Fortitude saw that the Blade Master wasn't part of the army and then it's like, hey, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Gawain87, thank you for the two-month resub. Give me all your primers. Give me all your primers. On this wonderful Monday morning. Afternoon, 3 p.m. Not morning anymore. <laughs> Not even for a night owl like me is 3 p.m. morning. Heal potion for the blade could be nice. There's a lot of focus fire going on on the first hero. And again, Lin with this quick expansion. And again, Lin not punishing this expansion at all. He tried a little bit, right? With that Blade Master, but apart from that, once the Alchemist was out... It's still only level 1. Not sold on this! Got the lasted! Okay, that was better. That's a... That's a smooth expo. Gotta say. A player's forces are under attack. Reinforced defenses very early. That's a lot of lumber invested. I wonder if that goes on the cost of Adept Shaman, which he would love to have. Maybe he's queuing that now. Should, should be around the timing for it. The Observer forgot how to click on a unit portrait again, by the way. <laughs> And the heal score goes to Fortitude as well. 40 is not playing this bad now. A player's forces are under attack. But at some point, he has to push, that's for sure. Getting up to 50, 60 quickly. And Lin's distraction push. Make sure his, his expansion finishes up. Wonder... Can't you do more damage against a reinforced defense tower? And Serpent Wards, probably not. TP coming in, interestingly. Heal Ward found. Oh, Blade Master in the middle of everything. Lightning Shield on top. That's a nice one. Countered by the heal uh, spray. Oh, don't block the HP of the Blade Master, my man. Lots of healing on Fortitude side, so the Blade Master has to go. Bouncing attack, kill one of the Grunts. And the moon wave, um, moon does have as well. Man, that was a lot of sustain for Fortitude. Heal spray, heal ward, moon well. Pretty much impossible to break through this. But okay, two base, two base. And now I wonder what kind of Night Elf player Fortitude is. Big tier two army and push, or rather tech quickly. Yeah, Fortitude in this matchup decides to go Night Elf these days. Oh, Lin is around. Okay, Lin has a, a little bit bloodthirsty here. Went to the shop, got the invo, use it immediately. But the archers are kind of protected. Again, so much heal spray. No ensnare yet, no hex with this build. It's heal wave and snakes. 
And I gotta say, I am impressed by Fortitude's progress, even with the block, has to go, oh no, don't tell me it's enough, it is! Level two Blade Master dead, thanks to this Huntress block, not bad. Was that enough, is the question. It's still rough to break through this, it's two towers. Maybe just switch to the main. I mean, there are burrows and all, but that's about it. There shouldn't be a tower in the main. You can never... You shouldn't be able to afford this. Let's put it that way. Yeah, and he does, in typical fortitude fashion. He can't help himself but tower. If it's human, if it's night elf, it doesn't matter. And with APs, why not? Have a fortification on the expansion. Here we go. Lightning shield, decent, moves away rather quickly. I don't think the blade master has items, maybe a heal potion. So focus fire increases immediately. This is decent time for the towers. Blade Master kind of low. Healing for Fortitude is not sufficient and Lin is losing the Blade Master again. Heal scroll on 40 side. I mean, this is not the best Lin I've ever seen, obviously. Not by a landslide. But Fortitude's improvement with Night Elf is really impressive. I guess Lin is just not ready. And Fortitude switch up to not pressure too much against this expansion, to not brute force this expansion was so smart and successful. And successful as well. Lin has an off day confirmed. Tide Hunters going to Fortitude. Lin is three and zero today. Um, I was kind of looking forward to Lin vs. Foggy, but we are far away from that. We're actually three maps away from that. I don't know, I really like the early game for Lin. Until... Well, he didn't get the last hits there. That was not the perfect move. When he could have gotten two, got zero. That was rough. And in the process of that, lost a lot of HP, had to move back, gave 42 time. That was a safe expansion. I don't know, man. Throughout the entire day, Lin wasn't able to pressure Nile of expansions. This is a good way to keep the momentum up after 8,000 plus watching Happy yesterday. 14k, brother! But yeah, we're gonna have Warcraft all day here pretty much. Uh, uh, Yule Cup until, I don't know, 5? 5, 5 p.m. or something. And then at 6 p.m. it's ESL Cup day. What happened yesterday was flying and missed it. Just the almost all-time viewer record for the Back to Warcraft stream. The all-time viewer record for War 3 Champion stream. Just me being overjoyed with the world and everything. <laughs> so not much. Not much. Also miss drama. <laughs> I kind of need a button for that, but do you mean... Drama! <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah, I kind of have to put that on a button, I think. Before it gets old. <laughs> I 
It was just me and my other 10k accounts. Yeah, to be fair, we got Twitch front page support. But I guess at some point we earned to be on the Twitch front page. Points redeemed for drama sound. I don't really like that idea because people can use it uh, in like crazy good moments and I don't want to ruin crazy heavy fights with that. Yeah, we are really bad at channel points. It's true. It's very true. Is it hard to get front page support? Well, depends. Effectively, it's an email, but I guess you have to have a little bit of luck. Need to know a couple of people. Is anyone good at channel points? I know a certain someone who gives Christmas cards. That's freaking dope. Apart from that, I didn't do too much research. We got map 2, by the way. And map 2 is concealed, alright. I wouldn't- holy shit, that's so loud. I wouldn't mind seeing another banger, like Colorful vs. Lin. Mine out, you know. James Luan, thank you for the half year resub. Awesome job yesterday with all you guys uh, do. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So Lin, facing elimination in on day one of Yule Cup. That's quite spectacular, if you ask me. Look at this, they fixed the Fortitude name. Whew, this would be quite something if Fortitude kicks out Lin with 2-0. That would fuel the fires of all the Night Elf haters. Forces are under attack. Remo on day one of his vacation. Twitter rant, Inc. <laughs> but who sends me one? Grubby, if you sent me, if you sent me your address, you're gonna get the only Neo Christmas card that I do. I don't send any to my family, but for you, I would do it. You know, I'm, I'd have to buy a Christmas sweater. A player's forces are under attack. But I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got Fortitude in the unusual Night Elf roll in the upper right hand side. And Lin. 0 3 today in the bottom left. I guess from all the maps we've seen of Lin, this was the best. Even though it was just one move that got him back into a game that he kind of already lost. Ooh. Just getting that Ogre Mage Eye. That priest, man. What a hero. All of that was for nothing. Well, I guess for the dust. Maybe for the staff, right? A player's forces are under attack. Lin is scouting for an expansion, which is not happening yet. Does surprise me. Maybe Fortitude more of a fan of expand on the spot. Come on, get that last hit, brother. There we go. And the tree end as well. Nice! There's the tier two. Can you get that Ogre Mage Eye now? Finally. Nope. Okay, that's what that was the staff, right? Both are going for the staff. As it is the norm currently.
Lin knows that the keeper is somewhere on his side of the map. It's only level one, man. That's pretty bad. The crap lasted, paid off well. Yeah, Lin needs a big run in this lower bracket. I mean, it's as worse as it gets for him. Lin feels a little confused, like, hey mate, where are you? Now he's finding him. No turtle spot, no upper left hand side, and Lin gets the last hit here again. Not bad. A player's forces are under attack. Calm early game. Not much happening, not much to attack. No expansion by Fortitude yet. No big push coming. Lin going Wyvern again, I guess. At least one or two. Yeah, Fly plays two, right? Lin usually goes one. Ooh, staff him by the Blade Master. This could be horrible. Horrible for 40 if this is Hex. It is, but I guess it gets out. It needs a crit, but there is no crit. And the knife is not sharp enough, but it forces the TP, cool play. Experience gets soaked up by both of the heroes, which is not too perfect. Before too slow, it hurt. Ouchie. At least it can, you know, creep a little bit, but Lin is still scouting on the upper left-hand side. No, say nothing to worry about. Blade Master certainly a little underleveled, but it should turn out fine. Wait, what? What is this Tree of Life position? I guess he can decide to go for the middle or for the left, but he has no nature's blessing. When he arrives at the expansion, the year is 2035. I don't get that, but maybe I don't have to. Wyvern here, Acid Bomb and Focus Fire, thanks to the Huntress AoE, good against Grunts. Looks like a decent fight so far for Fortitude. He needs to buy a lot of time. <laughs> At least we got the coal exit in Germany by then. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure about that, Loader. I guess you know what you have to do on September 26th, then. A town is under siege. Okay, Colorful, Colorful Fortitude seems to be sure that this expo comes up. Fight was decent, but no big creeping on the Alchemist, the so not the greatest sustain yet. Very, very tanky blade. And you know what? I don't hate it. I don't hate a tanky blade. Of course, it's always cool to see the big red numbers. But if you're up against Acid Bomb and all that focus fire, especially tier 3, having armor is kind of cool. It's also a good carry of lightning shield that helps the illusions. I don't hate it. All right. This is such a late expansion. But again, Lin is not pressuring this at all. He scouted this with a peon. Kinda late when it was up already, but he had to walk through water where he can't root. I guess he was busy as Fortitude was forcing the fight there.
if he gets the last hit. No, 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 no. Okay, there's a little bit of damage here. <laughs> ah, I love that Wyvern play. This is Lin and Fly and a couple of other orcs, of course. Implementing this Wyvern has helped them a lot. And since the good old Sakaar days, I'm I'm always happy when I see Wyvern. And I'm always happy when I see Lin doing good. Heal scroll was nice, and that's a cutie execution. Wyvern falls, that makes me sad. But Lin might be in the driver's seat here. Counter expansion looking good. Tree of Life, I think, didn't eat a tree. And this feels like Lin has the momentum, has the control. And Fortitude's army is just not there yet. Oh, the lightning shield. Mmm, sweet. Oh my god, what a massacre on these archers. How do you get back into this game, I guess? Lin is the one who has to invite him back? Because Expo is up and fortified, is it not? Yeah. Well, not as fortified as it was on Tide Hunters. But he lost Tide Hunters, so I guess it's a good thing. Lin starts to believe. Finds all the timings. Tracks down Fortitude again. And good luck, archers. Always take care when you choose your profession. Being an archer, if you're playing against Lin, is not the greatest. Completely leaves the hunts alone. Blade Master does a lot. And the rest, not so much. I like it. is just slaughtering this poor soul. <laughs> Everything is dying. Just a matter of time, I guess. Mana is getting kinda low on all sides. If he gets a couple of reinforcements, this should be fine. Oh, level 4 already. Yo, the Revenge of Lin, ladies and gentlemen. And what was this? Expansion position by a fortitude. I really don't get it. He's hanging in there. He will probably not fall or tap out here yet. But it's two base, two base. Fortitude is not tier three. to end this I guess it's still night time so a little bit of moon juice is there but I don't think all the moon juice in the world is gonna help calls the wisp from the main oh no you still want the two base advantage that's not how that works maybe he can out sustain him here does he have a mana potion nope Maybe it's time for Lin to retreat a little, get items, get reinforcements, and come back. Because this is not looking too great anymore. And that kind of happened against Colorful as well, right? Where he had the lead, and then there was an overcommitment. Oh, Staff is on the Shadow Hunter. No! Don't. Wait, is there items on the blade or not? 
Oh, heal wave is ready. Whew, lucky break. Okay, 40 is alive. Kills way more than he was supposed to. But the income is on Lin's side. Hero levels are on Lin's side. And the fountain is on Lin's side as well. How long is the day and night cycle? Uh, five minutes each? Four minutes. Except the first one. That one's shorter. As the day starts at 8 a.m. and not 6 a.m. All right, continue to fight this. There is a certain lack of piercing damage now, uh, as we don't have too many snakes here. Heal wave, and he decided to go for hex earlier. But he has the wyvern, so that's a little bit of it. But I wonder if. Fortitude is reaching this critical mass. Lin trying to go for a hero. 132! Purge! GG! Okay, he ended it. Was sweating a little bit at the very end, but not too much, I guess. Once he had the control. Once Lin has control, he rarely gives it up, and Lin wins his first map today! That feels good. That feels good. And it kind of feels like, why would you expand there? Can someone explain? I mean, there was a lot of scouting happening by Lin, so we wanted to do this like cheeky, but you kind of know that there's an expansion, don't you? At some point. Why did Ford betray the human race? I think it has to do with Farseer headhunters, but I'm not sure. We didn't, uh... Didn't ask him yet. Did we? Maybe during DreamHack we did. Dude, my brain. Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese. You're not getting super excellent mouse. I looking at my at my email inbox, but nothing there yet. Full day and night circle is four hundred and eighty seconds. Yes, that means one night is two. 40 seconds, and that is 4 minutes. Whew, doing math on stream, bullet dodged. Who's gonna dodge the bullet of being eliminated from the lower bracket? Semi-final. Who's gonna survive another round? It's either 40. I feel like I said colorful 500 million times. I'm not one, I'm not sure. It's been a lot of casting recently. Or is Lin gonna get eliminated? Uh, 42 eliminated Lin at the WGL Winter, if I'm not mistaken. With a tower push, that was quite something. Bururash, good morning. Very early for you today, huh? Damn, got something to do. Wait, what's this engine of war? Fortitude is playing an interesting elf style, I gotta say. Interesting positions to plant some trees. Not at the... Tuska, not at the green, but just in the middle for the bigger one of the green camp? Don't understand this really. But Fortitude will have some. He's a pretty, pretty smart 
guy usually. A player's forces are sometimes a little stubborn. But in general, smart guy. Okay, so we creep this, and the Blade Master is rushing over. No speed scroll though. Can only use Wind Walk. Wait, does he know? Did he scout that? Or did he just scout the right hand side? So if he sees that there's no tree at the green, is he rushing to the Tusker camp? And with that colorful, a uh, colorful fortitude can creep this in peace? Uh, nope. If that was the plan, it doesn't work. And now, Lin can go for archers. Lin can go for the next engine of war. At least it's entangled first. And the knight. Oh, oh! Do you don't let me down? Under attack. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, that turns like how is he supposed to get level two? There's no shop at the green. He's not moving the tree over to the other green. He kind of denied something. Is Fortitude just kind of dead? A player's forces are under attack. Mm. I'm usually very confused when casting Warcraft games. This is next level. There is an expo. Lin's gonna scout it. I think he completely dismantles him this game. <laughs> Do we get colorful versus foggy after this match? Attack. I hope so. But I'm not in contact with any of the do you guys, so I don't know. We just follow whatever they put on the stream. That's what we do here. <laughs> He's a smart guy, you said. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Call me out for it. I deserve it. I deserve it. Lin on T2, Shadowhunter coming. The Keeper is level freaking one! That's almost embarrassing. I mean, uh, the expo will come up. But this is just Lin's style. Just counter expand. He doesn't put too much pressure on expansions anyway. Maffy, thank you for the sub! God, this is so loud again! Feels like, yeah, the volume is resetting, sorry about that. And that song is super loud, in general. This would be my... One of my biggest wishes for an upcoming patch. A. Color the anti-magic shell in player color. B. Reduce the volume of this song. Keeper in a world of trouble, by the way, has to go for the invo potion he just found. Oh, this feels really, really, really bad. The Wrath of Lin. Huntress dying to just this. Okay, he's gonna get a grunt, but deny. Oh man, this is brutal. Forces are under attack. Okay, so what's the way to get back into this game? I guess hero focus. It's not like Lin's heroes are getting out of control. I 
And with Acid Bomb you can take over the experience lead a little bit. Lin's so aggressive. Well, he has nothing to fear. <laughs> Literally nothing. He needs a 500 IQ play. Okay, maybe claim the two neutral spots in the middle. Get that experience lead. Try to get some dominance in with 3-3. Three, three, but the dominance so far is all on the inside. Big oversee up for grabs. And... The second the creep falls, he clicks on something else. The forces are under attack. I guess Lin got it though. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, he would have more experience on the alchemist. He's not moving that tree. Oh, for the dude! How long is this tree finished? Minutes? <laughs> Peon is also just waiting there like, when are you coming guys? Where are you coming? Are you still in the bathroom? Do you, do, you, do you need some more time for your makeup? Lin is taking a sweet time. I mean, why not? Counter expanding. It's fine. He has this, like, full control. There is a little bit of a power spike for Fortitude soon, whenever he gets 3-3. Three, three. But until this expansion pays off, it's literal minutes, right? And this is what I want to see. Blade Master at the Untangled Gold Mine. Snap, snap, snap. Delay. Okay, I'm, I really hope I'm not wrong and this aggression will lead to the demise of Lin in this elimination match. But I mean, what's, what's Fortitude supposed to do? Is he trying to AP push again? Or like to distract? To get some pressure off of this? Lin only has 45. The Wisps are here, that's fine. But the Blade Master is super tanky. Has an invul. Once again, there's heal wave. Instead of serpent wards, he goes headhunters again. That didn't work too well when I saw it before. But of course, they can move compared to <laughs> compared to serpent wards. And you can go hex then if you want more pressure. But Fortitude is defending this. Does he have? Can he swing back now? He has the big supply lead. Oh my. That keeper play was actually sweet. Forty might win this. <laughs> Everything is super hurt. Did he get a heal scroll? If he has a heal scroll, it's actually not too bad. Or the Alchemist comes in. But it feels like, oh, Blade Master took good care. No, 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 there's no heal score, right? Blade Master's low. Keeper is surrounded. Who's gonna die first? It's the Keeper. All right. No, the items are just not here yet. Min needs a little bit of time. This tower will buy him a little bit of time. Or oh, the heal ward. Oh, how good is that? Mmm, feels good. Okay, that was the biggest moment for Fortitude 
until, I don't know, tier 3, 2 minutes into tier 3. Holy smokes, 50 euros! Jay Gads, my man! Playing hooky from work to have myself a Warcraft day. Keep, <laughs> keep up the amazing casting and games coming, Neil. Thank you! Will do, man. Two big donations on one afternoon stream. That is super sweet, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's cool to have no delay for once. Different experience. So Lin's economy looks better and better. The heal wards were a blessing. Oh, it is serpent wards actually. Serpent wards and headhunters. So no hex. Just late serpent wards then I guess. Ho ho ho! Two crits in a row. Lin Sane sword, almost coming back. The legendary one. But acid bomb is too strong at the moment. Lin is just not there yet. Ooh, the double throughout would be huge! Doesn't get it. And more healing. Okay. This would be the perfect position for a snake pit. But if Lin is just buying time and doesn't die, everything's fine. Even goes for the keeper, who only has a staff. If there's a crit, he's dead. Doesn't even need it. Here's the crit, one hit after. So without Entangle and without Nutrients, what is he supposed to do? Art's falling, Hunt's falling. Fortitude falls as well. Apparently there's a little bit of hope. Oh, the archers, what a retreat! Through the enemy lines! Mm. Yeah, it was a high priority to kill that shaman. <laughs> That's a uh, reenactment of the new Suicide Squad movie. Just better. Snake Master just tears everything to pieces. <laughs> that shaman said something about someone's mama. <laughs> nice. It is Lin's dominance re-established. He's not gonna be too happy to face another Night Elf in the lower bracket final, I bet. Because that's gonna be a whole different beast. That is... Foggy. Or colorful again. GG! Fortitude. Out of yet another group stage. Not having the best summer. Or the best uh, early fall, I guess. Yikes, but hey, Lin is back after losing three maps in a row. He wins two maps in a row. And yeah, this this wasn't even close. Like, Fortitude puts a different spin on things here, Night Elf wise. Um, but that spin might not be the best. Like, the expansion position on CH, the engine of war creep, and the creep route in general on Northern Isles. I do like when people do new stuff or try new stuff, but turns out that wasn't real good. So, I really hope that we get Foggy vs. Colorful now for all the Western fans here, obviously. And because I do like Nidalfera. Do we have any results from Group B? So in, we saw the Soin game against Remind. Word on the street is that PCG won 2-0 against Lawlight, but apart from that, we don't know too much. Alright. Then we go into a little break, I was talking quite a bit. And then we wait for the next game to come up, or... 
We chat. I like that. Neo, are you casting Israel Europe after this too? Of course. Of course. What a, what a question is that? <laughs> uh, see you after a little break.